Right, so yesterday we had chicken stock. Today, you remember I filleted chicken legs, chicken fillets. So I want to now show how we use these ingredients so that we're making economies of scale. We're maximizing what we have available to us in these hard times. Here are the two chicken legs. I put the oven on maximum heat. I'm going to put these in for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, I'm going to add the chicken breasts in the same marinade and cover with foil and do for another half an hour. The marinade is the garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper, homegrown rosemary, a few chili flakes and a bit of Worcester sauce. We all love the Worcester sauce. That's going to be served with a sweet potato and merely cottoned, uh, what is that, starchy potato, mashed potato. Sweet potato, normal potato mash, and a ch chicken stock gravy to the chicken stock which we made yesterday. We are going to add flour, a bit of Worcester sauce, a bit of salt and pepper. We wang this in, we wang it in as we like to say. In it, 10 minutes there. Always into timer. I've got two of them. Professional. Right. I'm going, I'm going to use the juice of a lemon, but I'm not adding it to the chicken legs just yet because it's sensitive to heat, so we're going to add about maybe, let's just add the whole fucking lemon juice, why the fuck not, eh? Right? <laughs> yeah, right, so we are now, we've been in there for 10 minutes with the exposed to the hot, hot heat. And you can see that they're already crisping up a bit. So we now add the breasts, which have add, I've added the juice of a lemon to. And add all of this lovely shit here. I'm going to cover this in foil because it's a little bit more sensitive how you say. Yeah. So it's a bit hot, yeah, just be careful, yeah, just be careful like get home if you've got kids. Back in the oven it goes. Back in the bastard. I can't relax. Okay, it's back in there for about half an hour. Do the timer. These are in cold water. I'm going to bring the heat up from zero to hero, as we say in the culinary world. <laughs> so, this is the frozen stock. Uh, I'm just going to put that on the heat. Heat that up, add flour, and a bit of pepper. Uh, that's, the <laughs> that's the timer for the chicken so let's have a look at how that's going on. I reduced the heat to 170. Okay so that's looking good. I can now rest rest it for maybe 10, 5 to 10 minutes you know don't worry about it getting uh, cold. The, the heat of the gravy and the hot mash will upset the slightly cooler chicken. Okay to the mash same again. Bit of, a bit of butter, a bit of milk, a bit of horseradish, mustard, salt, and pepper. Big. Put that to one side. <laughs> Stick in the sauce with a bit of flour. Strain it through there. <laughs> Using the whisk. Whisk it, whisk it in. Whisk it in. <laughs> strain is done, but I need to double strain. I'm doing a double strain just to increase its smoothness, just in case there's any lumps of flour in there. <laughs> and ready to plate up. We've got a guest this evening, very lucky. Uh, take a bit of this, lemony sauce. Like... You can see that gravy is lovely and thick. With that chicken stock, all those flavours, those layers, rustic humble. So it's a chicken, the lemon, 
rosemary, chilli and olive oil sauce, served with chicken stock gravy and sweet mashed potato, sweet and old potato mashed potato jams. <laughs>